It's Monday the 17th of October, I'm Erin Bates and here are your top stories. ANC Secretary General Gwede Mantashe has urged university students to resume classes this week. Mantashe met with Secretaries General of the SACP, Kosatu and Sanko to discuss the crisis in higher education this weekend. The Alliance partners voiced concern about the damaging long-term impact of closing varsities. Classes at Chuanang University of Technology, Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University and the University of Cape Town are resuming today. A clubhouse at NMMU was torched early this morning and former SRC head at Witts University, Nebo Lamini, is expected in court today. Five men arrested in connection with the murder of DA councillor Johannes Baikis and his business partner are expected in court today. 49-year-old Baikis was shot in the head and upper body on the eve of being sworn in as a Chatelo Pele municipality councillor. This followed local government elections in August. His business partner, Shuping Norsi, was also shot and died in hospital. The murders left the small council hung with three councillors in the ANC and three in a coalition, among them Chatelo Pele Community Forum councillors. Electoral Commission spokesperson Bonolo Modise said a by-election will be held in November. And finally, about 3,500 dogs and their owners ran through Spain's capital as part of the fifth annual Peraton or Dogathon. The yearly event seeks to raise awareness about animal cruelty and encourage dog adoptions. Spain has jail penalties for cruelty against domesticated animals, but is divided among concern for bullfights and bull runs. Some consider them savage, outdated practices, while others call the spectacles part of the country's cultural heritage. For more on this and breaking news as it happens, go to news24.com.